Oh, I'm so over it, y'all. So over it. Hey, 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 YouTube. It's been a long minute. I know, I know, I know. But listen, it's been a lot going on. That's why I wanted to just go ahead and do this video and kind of get you guys caught up on what is happening with me personally so i thought that i would just chit chat with you while i was running some errands and then we're going to head to home goods because i have some returns so listen your girl been mia yes i have it has been when i tell you this year well this whole you know what that's going on has really 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 did a number on my mental when i tell you has done a number on my mental and so yeah i had to go mia what was i saying I'm trying to do this video on my phone, on my new phone or whatever, because you know I didn't, I didn't upgraded the phone just to make things easier for me to um, record. Yeah, this this pandemic has done a number on my mental health. Uh, I already battled some issues prior to. Where's my Lord? You know what? I got to turn back around. You know why? Because I don't have my glasses. And I can't go far without my glasses. Damn it. <laughs> okay, y'all. I was like, something feels weird. I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah. So, oh wait, did I stop the car? Oh Lord. I could have grabbed my wedding ring too. I ain't going back in there. If I go back in there, your girl ain't going today. I'm already having a very difficult time leaving. So again, I was talking to you guys about situation has done a number on my mental health along with most of the people in the world. But for me, it it really really um took a toll because i am a control freak and you couldn't control what's going on right now so when i say i'm a control freak that's probably that is a hideous color y'all so the, so my neighbors painted their house this hideous color when i tell you this color is so hideous Lord, I don't even want to show y'all because it's bringing down the price. Like, I, I thought it was a primer. That's how hideous the color is. I was like, oh, okay, that's that's the primer. They're going to go over it with something else. But I was like, with the, the color of their house, they had like a pale yellow colored house, like a brick house. I don't know stuff. I don't know what you call it. But if I felt like figuring out the camera, I would uh, turn around and show y'all. But I'll just insert. I don't know if I'm going to insert it because I don't want y'all to know where I live. I don't know. But anyway. So for me, this past year and a half has been really, really difficult because I did not know, but um, I had basically created systems to keep my mental state at bay. I had a routine and the routine that I had developed that included my um, working out, prayer, you know, I just had a routine. And this past year and a half just abruptly ended that routine for me and really showed me that I had a bigger problem than what I thought I had. So I am one that I am used to being able to snap out of things. So I am always, I've always been a person that internally was never fully and completely happy or full of joy if that makes sense um, and I know the joy of the Lord is our strength you know for the religious people but for me um, there was always something nagging 
with me where I'm like, I should not feel this way. Why am I feeling this way? Like, what is going on? I should be, ha you know, what is happening? Um, I did not realize that that was depression and anxiety because, you know, the black community, we don't talk about mental health and the importance of taking care of your mental health because, you know, a lot of us are in survival mode. So, which is what I was. So anyway, you know, I worked out, which was, you know, gives you, when you work out, it gives you a dopamine effect. Doing that helps with depression. So when the situation happened, you know what I'm talking about, the, the, the big P, I, it knocked me out of my routine. And then because I was knocked out of the routine, it just really, really got bad. I did not even realize how bad it got because um, I'm so used to pushing my feelings to the back or being busy or being occupied with other things. So I did not have to deal with said um, true emotions and feelings. So long story short, I basically had a nervous breakdown at the beginning of the year. I'm just going to say, I can't, you know, I'm trying to come up with words. Um, I can't. And I don't even know what I did or what happened because thankfully my husband um, came right in and soothed me, you know, dealt, you know, he, he did what a husband is supposed to do. Um, so I don't really recall the incident or whatever verbatim. But I didn't even know I was as bad off as I was because, again, I'm used to just, you know, dealing with everybody else, a mom, a four, a wife. You know, you, you push your feelings to the back burner and you deal with everyone else. Well, because of the big P, I could not, you know, it was nothing else for me to, for me to make busy with because, you know, we couldn't go nowhere and all of that. And because I am severely type A, personality when it when things just got knocked off of it you know the world it was hard for me to um, jump start things so I fell into like a really really heavy depression and I did not know that that's what those what that was uh, because the depression I dealt with is called high functioning depression which means what it says, you know, you can still, you can function, you can, you're still able to, you know, do things. You're not just 100% laying in the bed. I find, I found out through therapy, which I am in now, which I should have been in my entire life, but that's a whole nother talk show. Um, what I, I didn't have words to put into how I was feeling, if that makes sense. So things came to a head. I, you know, whatever happened early this year, it happened. I got into therapy. I am a lot better, but I am not at my best, if that makes sense. Um, it's going to take time. I am dealing with, with um, years of trauma that was not dealt with. Um, and so it's going to take time for me to get, you know, back to a place where I feel like myself. And I want to say that for like the past five years, I have not been feeling like myself, but I contributed it to me being perimenopausal. And that could still be, you know, the issue. I really feel like perimenopausal, when you're going through perimenopause and menopause, it really, really does something to your mental Um I just believe that. So, so anyway, this lady just threw me off because um, I don't want her to hit my car. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's what's been going on. So, like I said, I'm not 100%. Even today, I'll give you guys an example. Um, it is 327. I had my therapy session from 12 to 1. I, I have therapy every week. It took me over two hours to throw on a pair of cut up what are these called cut up joggers a crop top and to i don't have on nothing special but i just the energy that it took for me to even get dressed 
it was a lot. Um, and that's what I have been dealing with. I did not, like I said, did not know that that was depression, anxiety and stuff like that. It's been hard. It has been difficult because I am used to being able to fix it. I am the friend that people call when they want to problem solve. I am not the friend that's going to, you know, you call when you emotional and, you know, you don't really want to do nothing. I am the friend. We're going to strategize. We're going to do this. This is how we're going to, I'm a fix it friend. You know, I, we gonna, this is how we're going to do it. So I'm used to being able to fix things. And for me not to be able to <laughs> fix myself has been really, 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 really difficult. Um, and, and, Imagine someone who loves fashion, who loves beauty, who can't even muster up the energy, get fly. You know, that's that's kind of where I have been. And I will tell you what, what jump started my breakdown was um, I was trying to get back into TikTok because I was like, okay, you are a content creator. You need to create some content like, you know. You, bills still you need to do what you need to do so um I had my daughter helping me create content and so i think the first tiktok video or instagram reels they you know one in the same they're not one in the same but the first reel and tiktok that i did that did you know fairly well was this it was a challenge going around where um pretended like what would you wear to new york fashion week type of thing so now at this point so like for almost a year i have been in the house not going anywhere not getting dressed you know just being very very you know lounge wear or whatever the case is so your girl didn't know she had got a little thickums you know what i'm saying like thickums for me still a little thickums but that's a whole nother talk show so the whole point of the the reel was to put on outfits that you know represented whatever fashion show that you were going to so i am a stylist i'm a hairstylist i'm a makeup artist i am a licensed cosmetologist and i have been doing image consulting along with that my entire basically career i had all these images in my head i was like okay yeah for the gucci i'm gonna put this on and this on your girl couldn't fit nothing you heard me. So I, I, you know, put these outfits, I put the outfits together, but I did not try them on until day of, you know, shoot. It is so hot, y'all. And long story short, once I realized the, that I had, you know, had, had acquired a whole lot more poundage that I had, you know, had into, because I knew I had got a little thickums, but I had got thickums. Um... So that started the initial breakdown because I'm, and I could not really, really go into the breakdown because I'm not going to do that in front of my daughter. Like, you know what I'm saying? As a mom, you really know. So I'm like, you know, I get through the reel and I made, and no one would have thought that I had, that I was, you know, I literally think the next day is when I had my breakdown. And, um, it wasn't vanity. I'm, I'm thankful that, you know, through therapy, I realized that because I'm like, you know, how you going to have a whole breakdown because you didn't get, I don't want to say the F word because I don't want people to get offended, but you didn't got a little thick Um, But it was deeper than that. It was, it was deeper than that. Um, but that was the spark of, of things. And I brought that up because, you know, a lot of people, you know, they were DMing me on Instagram, girl, where you been, you know? Uh, cause I was putting content out here and there, but I could not be consistent. I just did not have the energy to edit videos. Like, I don't think y'all understand the amount of work it takes to be a content creator. And I, listen, so I just didn't have the energy to edit the video. So I'll, you know, put a video out here and there, but it wasn't you know, to the quality that I wanted, but I was just trying to go with the motions. 
it's been difficult because you know I would I was in this state so imagine being in this state of depression and you don't know it and I'm already naturally hard on myself just because you know I, I am all or nothing type of person I either like you or I don't I'm you know I'm either gonna not do it or do it at 200% that's just how I am so to do the work create the video that I'm pushing myself to do to edit the video and then to upload it for it to be hardly no views just was too much for me in the state the mental state that I was in I am not really I'm not a numbers person let's just be clear I'm not a numbers person but the industry that I am in it's about the numbers it, it is a, it is about growth um which i've been having a difficult time growing on youtube probably because i was you know i could not even focus i'm not even gonna say that i wasn't focused but i couldn't and the mental state that i was in for the past few years i just could not focus so so i expect things to be better now but um, anyway so to do all that and then you know you do all this work, it takes hours to create this content, it takes another hour to edit the video, and then 200 views. Like, no matter what I did, max 200 views. That was just a lot at that point in my life. So I am at a better place where I get back to creating content and not being so down and hard on myself because that's something that I battle. People don't really know because they, they look at me and they're like, oh, you are so... You're so confident. You just, this, this, this. Um, a lot of that is a defense mechanism from trauma. Therapy's been helping. So um, I am a strong personality, regardless of the trauma. But um, you never know what someone is going through on the inside. So I brought up the point that people were like DMing me and you know, I remember you showed these shoes on Instagram and now, you know, I see all these, you was the first one to do it and now all these people copying you, you know, so, and that's another thing. Imagine creating content and then, I got to do this because I'm hot, and then seeing someone copy your content that you know for sure that's what they're doing and then they're getting thousands of views while you're getting your 200 on top of the mental state that I was in mentally. You get what I'm saying? It was really the, that's really it. Because, you know, people gonna copy because I'm, you know, because I'm fire. So, um, I gotta do this because it's just too hot. Um, but yeah, so, this is a long, drawn out. But I just want, before I started posting videos, I wanted y'all to know, you know, what was going on. And if I ghost or your favorite um, content creator ghost for a minute, you know, say a prayer for them. Send them a, a encouraging word of, you know, I just want you to know I'm thinking of you. That I got those two. Oh, shit. Y'all, my thing I almost broke my new phone. Okay. You know, if you want to know what's going on with me on a day-to-day -day basis, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Same name, style with Nina, and TikTok. TikTok is where I have more fun. But Instagram, especially stories, is where I'll go in and tell you what's going on. So, like, for example, I took, I have taken two weeks off of not posting. It feels amazing. I did let people know in my, um, my Instagram stories what was happening. So, long story short, follow me on Instagram. And if you have any questions, if you want me to talk more about, you know, my mental state, leave that in the comments. I never want to come on here and be a Debbie Downer. So that's why I, you know, ghost because I'd rather put out great energy than to put out not so great energy. And I'm one, I can't fake it. I just, a lot of folk can fake it today. I cannot fake the funk. If I am in a funk, everything I do is going to be in a funk. That is just, I wish I could push through. I cannot. Um, so that's why I tend to ghost because um, I don't want people to see me in that state. If you have any questions or want me to go into more of the state that I, you know, what I've been going through, how therapy has helped, 
leave that in the ooh, this hair leave that in the um the comment section i just don't want to talk about that and y'all don't want to hear it so um and i don't mind sharing that's why i just flat out told y'all what heck I, like i i am not good at pretending that has just never been a gift of me that's probably why i'm not growing <laughs> as fast as other content creators because i am just what you see is what you get that's it you know that in which i wish it was more people like that but you know it ain't so i am tired of holding this thing let me run into fedex and then i will see you guys at home goods okay bye y'all another thing about trying to leave out is this damn mess oh i'm so over it y'all so over it you heard me okay let's head to home goods <laughs>